Are we filming in a cave? Yes, we are. Hi, everybody. This is Yikes Band, and we're back with another haul. So today we have many more items in this haul than our last very modest one. We're going to show you the books, but then we're also going to um, showcase the price that we paid for each book because it's important to know that you can have a passion like book collecting and not have to spend your life away. And also important to mention that this is round two. We filmed this last night and then we were about to capture the footage to the computer and it didn't work. It did this. I was very disappointed. This is a VHS box set of Beatrix Potter animated shorts. Beatrix Potter was my favorite author of all time when I was a little girl. I was obsessed with her books. I owned all the little ones and I always read them. So I like to pass that on to my daughter Rudy Mae and we have the little books and we also have a treasury in one big book and then we found this and we thought she would really like it. Of all of our haul, this is the most expensive thing that we got. Mm -hmm. It was about $4 because each VHS was a dollar. Not bad. Still not bad. This is a Penguin classic of Sir Gawain and the Green Knight, translated by Brian Stone. I just found an old receipt in the book. I just like old, original, um, like the poem version of things. This was 59 cents. Here's another one that I found. California Raisins, Raisin the Roof. Check out the whole gang is just riding in their vehicle. Step out with the California Raisins as they sing and dance their way through their funniest adventure yet. We thought this would be fun. Uh, it's from our childhood and we thought we'd share it with Rudy and the kids. So check it out, it was only 59 cents. What's next, dear? Oh, it's just Under the Tuscan Sun by Francis Mays. Oh, me so stupid, was that a movie? Uh, yeah, it was. I never, I haven't really heard much about this book. I haven't heard anybody rave about how wonderful of a book it was, but I have caught little pieces of the movie on TV, and I am kind of obsessed with the thought of traveling someday. Just the thought of going and getting a little rundown place and making it my own in a quaint little village appeals to me. And it was only 15 cents. Vanity Fair by William Thackeray. I haven't heard much about this book, except for when I watched um, Conrad from Just a Dust Jacket's bookshelf tour, and I think he said he really didn't like the main character. I really, really hate this cover. I think that is the ugliest thing I've ever seen. But we don't judge a book by its cover. What we judge it by instead, in this case, is how it feels. Is anybody else one of these people where you, you do this, and it, and it like can almost fold in half and it feels so good like it's literally melting in your hands it makes me want to cry I love it so based on the fact that um, it's set in the olden days and it has a really nice feel I bought it and this was a little bit more expensive this was two dollars this is the best American mystery stories of the century I'm a huge she loves these <laughs> huge fan of the Best American series. They have something for everybody and it's normally put out once a year. So I was really excited when I saw this and you won't believe how much I paid for this. How much? 15 cents. I don't believe it. That's not 50. That's 15. 15. That's a one and a five. Would you believe I found another one? This is the best American short stories of the century. And I have actually been eyeballing this because the short stories one is actually my favorite of the best American series. And um, I have seen this at a couple different places, never less than $5.99. I found this for $1.59 at a thrift store and I snatched it up. Houseplants. I actually only have two houseplants and I've never had a garden in my life. But I have a, I wouldn't even say slight obsession. I have a major obsession with gardening books and houseplant books. She's nuts about them. And lawnscaping books. You cover up with a bunch of leaves and dirt and she'd live forever. What can I say? We are ideally hoping to buy a house here within 
pretend a year. Hope, hope, hope. And so I guess this is just my research for when we do have our own plot of land to... And sort of maybe willing it so. Right. If you read about it. It will grow. It will grow. I'm going to go write that movie. This was published in 1970, and that's one of my favorite eras. It's very aesthetically pleasing to me. This was 25 cents. Container Gardening, Indoors and Out by Jack Kramer. Another gardening book? I'm seeing a theme here. 15 cents. These are John Bradshaw's Complete Guide to Better Gardening. This is books one and four. All about garden trees and lawns. These were from 1961. They were 15 cents. Taking Tea, The Essential Guide to Brewing, Serving, and Entertaining with Teas from Around the World by Andrea Israel. There's a tight race between this cover and the Vanity Fair cover for the winner of the ugliest cover on the planet. This is disgusting. I'm sorry. Makes me want to barf. I don't care. It's so, like, gross, frilly, late 80s, ugly. That peach, ugh. But I love tea. There's recipes in here and, and specifics on how to brew, how to serve. Hi, tea. British, Indian tea this way, a Chinese mm -hmm. tea that way, so. What do, you, what, do you, what do you think about when you think about tea? What's the first thing that comes to your head? I think of like a one of those Chinese tea kettles where they pour the tea right on the tea kettle like we saw in Sherlock. Season one, Sherlock, out on Blu-ray and DVD. We'll put a link right here. Hurry up and finish season three because I know. I'm dying. I love Sherlock. I want them both to be our best friends now. Come on, please. Please just be our best friend, Sherlock and John <laughs> and John Watson. I almost said John Holmes. Not John Holmes. Got penis on the brain. Oh. <laughs> step by step yard and garden basics. Big surprise. Two dollars. So it's very thick, very, very uh, extensive. So I thought that was worth it. What does every home library need? Hmm. Encyclopedias, dictionaries, thesaurus. thesaurus. I can't think of the last thing. Hmm. Could it be? A world atlas. It could be. Let's see. Let's just flip to a random page. What's this? Northwest Territory. I didn't even know they had one of those. Now we have it in a map. And we're always trying to make sure that we have the basic essentials for a personal library right. uh, on top of our love books. Mm -hmm. Fiction, nonfiction. Books that we love, I oh. guess is a better way to but say sometimes it. Sometimes it's fun to have a good old reference book. I we don't we have got. a lot of kar karma sutras. Karma? How do you say that? Karma sutras. <laughs> All in different positions for your cosmic justice. <laughs> 15 cents. Last but not least, I got a book too. I got this from our local library. It's C.D. Payne's Youth and Revolt. I'm really interested in this book. I saw the movie and, it's, and I said, oh, it's a book, I'd like to read it. Tell you one thing, I hate this cover. It's not, I, I like Michael Sarah. he's funny, he's one of my favorites, but this is a horrible, horrible cover. Don't do the, the movie. I understand they're trying to do a tie-in, they want to sell more books, but it's awful. Especially in this, when you consider this book came out 1993, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Don't put a movie cover of a movie that came out a couple of years ago. It's just ridiculous. Quit doing it. How much was that book, Caleb? This book was only a suggested donation of a dollar bill, so I gave him a dollar bill and paid all my fines off, too. Thanks for watching. We had a lot of fun. Bye. See ya. It was worth doing it twice. What about this? Hey, we got this during our haul too, but it's not a book, so don't worry about it.